Hey guys, right, and welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're just going to be running through the most OP players from last year and the uh, their ratings now. Uh, forgive me if I've got if I forget anyone, but I had a little Google, found a few players that I didn't know. But obviously, we've gone for the gone for the ratings from last year, compared them to um, this year. Right, firstly, we're going to get started with Butland, 82 last year, 81 this year. His most his biggest one is that he's got a lot less speed. Like a lot. That's like 13 less speed. I don't know if that will make a difference. I doubt he'll be as OP this year, but he is six foot five. He's got one less kick in and one less position as well. But like I said, he's got he is six foot five, so he might still be a bit of a beast in goal. Who knows? But it'll definitely be one to try out. Um as soon as you get FIFA or when he's a little bit cheaper. The second one here is Barhi. Got a plus two upgrade. A little bit debatable in my head that he got minus three pace because he is he is a bit of a speed demon if you watch him play. But he did get plus two defending and plus one physical, uh, a couple of passing, a couple of shooting, a couple of dribbling. But for a centre back, it's kind of irrelevant. Obviously, like I said, plus two there. He's six foot two, I believe. So he's going to be a solid, solid centre back this year. Like just like he was last year. Obviously, we know he's OP. Uh, the next centre back in game was obviously probably the most OP centre back that I've ever played with on FIFA. Um, he obviously got a minus three down ground. Was a little bit. A little bit debatable this year for uh, United. He got minus five pace, minus three defending, and minus one physical. Um, I could imagine Bar. His new card is pretty much like his card. This card last year, his 84 card. But who knows whether they'll be the same? Whether he'll be as good? Who knows? Uh, the next player here is the right back, Carl Walker. Um, obviously, forgive me here on his 83 card. I forgot to put in the fact that he moved to Man City, but he got a plus two upgrade. Um, also, just to let you know, I've done it from their original base card, not their January upgrades, because some of them did get them. Um, he's also got plus two defending and plus three dribbling and plus one passing, but kind of irrelevant for a right back. Passing's all right, dribbling's all right, and obviously the defending is nice to get. Uh, the next one, which a lot of people I know use at the start of FIFA, is Renato Sanchez. Again, forgive me for not putting the fact that he put into um, he moved to Swansea in his on his 76 card, but he's got this is quite a mean downgrade. He's got minus four pace. Minus one passing, minus two dribbling, minus two defending, and minus two physical. Who knows if he'll be uh, as OP? I doubt it, but who knows? We'll have to wait and see until the FIFA until FIFA 18 kicks off and starts. The next one is probably the biggest upgrade, and deservedly so. Deserves to be an 87 rated in my eyes. Plays for the team that I support, obviously. But like the the upgrade just isn't actually good for a plus six rating upgrade. He only got one pace, one passing, three dribbling, one defending, and one physical, which is a little bit. A little bit dutty for an upgrade of that big, like a plus six pace, and there's not even any stats that majorly have improved. But who knows? He's still done in the demo, so we'll get to see that. The next one is Gray here. He got a very big upgrade as well from his original card. It's a pretty good upgrade to be fair as well. He's got plus two pace, plus two dribbling, plus two shot, plus two passing, plus five defending, and plus three physical, which is always good. He could play centre mid, maybe CDM, but he's a little bit small. But I used to play Kante last year at CDM, and he done. A very good job for me, but Kante is a bit of a don. Uh, the next guy coming up is Giovinco, and this is the one that I googled. I didn't actually know that he was considered OP, but a lot of forums said that he was. But surprisingly, I think this took a lot of people by surprise. He's got a minus downgrade, minus one downgrade, and a minus seven pace downgrade, a plus two uh, shooting, a plus uh, minus three physical, and the rest have stayed the same. But I didn't know he was considered OP. He never really played with him. I had his SPC card, which was very nice. Used it as a sub, but is what it is. Here we go. And we've got Mane, a very deserved upgrade to an 84. Obviously, he switched sides. He's playing on the left now in this FIFA. Uh, plus one place, plus five shooting, plus four passing, plus three dribbling, plus one defending. No one really cares about. And very important one, which is a very accurate one, I'd say. Plus eight physical there for Mane. He's going to be an absolute god this year, especially playing on that left-hand side on the VPL. is always lovely. And the final one, which everyone could have guessed, is Anthony Martial. As we know, he was a bit of a god last year. I had him for a very long time in my team. Um, he's got a pretty much identical card, other than the fact that he's lost um, two dribbling, one defending, and two physical. For staying the same rating, that's not that bad of a change. I guarantee he'll still be just as good, because that's a very good shooting, very good physical, very good pace, and very good dribbling for a left winger. But um, that'll be it for today's episode, guys. Um, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, hit the like button. If you're new around, want to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.